As we all know, the quality of the results generated in a bionicle lab depends on four main factors. The quality of the reagents, the assay format, the caliber of the scientists performing the work, and the choice of the platform those scientists utilize. So in today's world, where we are all bombarded with various platforms and instrumentations, how do you decide which platform to go with in support of your project? As co-founder and chief scientific officer at Biogenetics, I've made it a point to build out our platform suite with technologies that can meet complex assay demands for higher sensitivity, precision, throughput, and more. I've seen the exciting capabilities enabled by these platforms from working with them firsthand in the lab. The immense performance, time, and cost benefits that can be derived from our customers by putting their projects on the optimal platform. What I tell those customers is that the key to successful platform selection is to resist going with one choice for everything. Instead, you should choose the instrument that is right to make your project a success. For example, the platform that you select to support your clinical biomarker study where you may need a quantitative assay with a wide dynamic range in a matrix like seromoplasma may require a different platform than when working with a project that requires product release under GMP and you are dealing with a formulation with a simple buffer. So what are some of the key project parameters that should be considered to make sure your platform choice meets your big picture requirements? When considering working on a new assay, at minimum one should keep the following characteristic for the platforms in mind. Requires sensitivity, precision, dynamic range, matrix interference, robustness, ruggedness, and total assay time. Additional characteristics to be considered may include multiplexing, throughput, adaptability to automation, and ease and cost of implementation. In terms of priority, some factors will be straightforward. Others need to be weighted carefully against project characteristics and requirements. Consider questions like, are we likely to run into matrix effect? What is an acceptable dynamic range? Is greater precision worth higher cost? As we all know, ELISAs are still the most common immunoassay platforms. It is well accepted by the regulatory agencies. There are many vendors and reagent suppliers for this platform, and it is one of the cheaper platforms when it comes to reagents and instrument costs. However, sometimes a greater level of sensitivity, wider dynamic range, or multiplexing is required. For such assays, there are other platforms that may be a better fit. MSD-ECL is a good platform alternative to ELISA, as it gives you the three plus log dynamic range, assay sensitivity, sometimes to single digit picogram per ml range sensitivity, multiplexing for up to 10 analytes. Delphi is another platform that is well known in the drug high throughput screening arena. However, it is also a powerful platform when one is looking for a very sensitive and robust method with wide dynamic range. However, not suited for multiplexing as we see with MSD-ECL. When you're dealing with a project where sample volume is an issue, Gyros could be a great fit. Due to its microfluidic design and automation, a tail bleed is more than enough sample to perform the analysis. Luminex is another platform which allows for performing very large multiplexing studies. However, one has to be very careful to watch for antibody cross-reactivity when looking at large multiplex panels. Additionally, sometimes it is not possible to raise a set of antibodies to eventually use and build a sandwich immunoassay on a number of platforms that mentioned earlier. In such cases, one can use a couple of the newer Western blood analyzers such as Lycor or Protein Simple. For example, with Protein Simple, one can run up to 96 samples with separation based on either size or chart with great reproducibility in a day. And for some projects, measuring the cell surface biomarkers may be of interest. That is where the traditional fax analysis may be the way to go. Lastly, in instances where an uptake or internalization process needs to be measured, an imaging system may be required. In addition to many tried and true traditional bioanalytical methods, there are a growing number of new and innovating platforms being introduced to our field today. Each offer their own nuances that make them the best fit for specific assay demands. 
weapon. Understanding the similarities and differences between these technologies will help you to narrow your focus to platforms that will yield results with the level of quality, turnaround, and cost you require. By Agilex Boost, one of the most comprehensive platform suites of any biological lab offering today. We have all the key platforms from traditional methods to cutting edge technologies made to optimize complex analysis. To learn more, please submit questions or schedule a conversation with me through our virtual podium site. And be sure to visit www.bioagilytics.com for more on our full breadth of services. I hope you found this presentation helpful and I would like to thank you for your time and look for more of my upcoming virtual podium talks.